Hi, in this video I will demonstrate how you can use Tanzu Kubernetes Grid to deploy and manage Tanzu Kubernetes clusters. Before you can create Tanzu Kubernetes clusters, you must deploy a Tanzu Kubernetes Grid Management cluster. The Tanzu Kubernetes Grid provides commands and options to perform Kubernetes cluster creation and lifecycle management operations like creating, examining, scaling and deleting a Tanzu Kubernetes clusters. To deploy a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster with the minimum default configuration, you run TKG create cluster, specifying the cluster name and the plan equals dev or prod. To deploy clusters with multiple worker nodes, specify the control plane machine count and worker machine count option along with the number of worker machine you want to deploy. To see a preview of the YAML file that Tanzu Kubernetes Grid will create when it deploys a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster, you can run the TKG create cluster command with the dry run option. If you specify dry run, Tanzu Kubernetes Grid displays the full YAML file for the cluster, but does not create the cluster. Each Tanzu Kubernetes Grid release supports a defined set of Kubernetes versions. Tanzu Kubernetes Grid 1.1.0 supports Kubernetes versions 1.17.3 and 1.18.2. The default version for this release is 1.18.2. To deploy a Tanzu Kubernetes cluster with a version of Kubernetes that is not the default for your Tanzu Kubernetes grid release, specify the version in the Kubernetes version option. You can save the output of dry run and use it to create clusters later on using kubectl. Let's SSH to bootstrap server and create a new workload Kubernetes cluster using tkg create cluster command. In this video I will be creating a cluster with three master nodes and three worker nodes. Wait for the time you get a message that workload cluster created successfully. Next step is to get the credentials created for the new cluster using TKG get credentials along with the cluster name. Credentials are required to switch between clusters. TKG get credentials will save the credentials in the Kubernetes config files. You can list all the available credentials using kubectl config get context command. Switch from management cluster to the new cluster using kubectl config use context command. Validate all the nodes are in ready state using kubectl get nodes. To list all the pods running in the cluster use kubectl get pods a. As TKG 1.1 support Kubernetes version 1.17.x as well as 1.18.x you can deploy a Kubernetes cluster of both the versions. Let's deploy one more cluster of Kubernetes version 1.73.2 using the same setup. You can use the same TKG create cluster command along with Kubernetes version. Post successful creation of workload Kubernetes cluster. You can use TKG get credentials to save the credentials in the Kubernetes config files. Switch the config context to context of new cluster using kubectl config use context command. In case you want to scale the existing cluster, you can use TKG scale cluster command along with the number of control or worker nodes you want to have in the cluster. You can either scale up or scale down a TKG workload cluster. This concludes the demo, where we learned to deploy a Kubernetes workload cluster of 1.17.x and 1.18.x. We also learned the process to scale up and scale down a cluster. Hope this will be informative for you. Please do share, like and subscribe if you find worth sharing it.